that means the role of international academy how i can help or we can help role of international tax academy so because i told you that we had students from all i mean middle east africa etc etc sri lanka saudi arabia as well as all across the all across the country so that is why uh, international tax academy offers i mean for the december 2020 examination we offered live online classes live online classes and we focused these were solely these are these are these were focused and customized towards adit december 2022 examination settings attempts they call them as settings so adit december 2022 settings these classes were focused towards this attempt and the subjects which were offered principles of international tax and transfer pricing in the beginning two subjects were offered because i told you my strategy is focus upon two subjects focus upon two subjects two subjects in one attempt and then you can take the third remaining option in the in the next attempt although i must say that this time majority of the students they were all from big majority of the students they were from big four cas working professionals yes they were working professionals working in the field of tp they were cas we had a uh, law student we had a tax tax lawyer in fact we also have uh, i mean a student who was mne who was heading the tax department of an mne student a foreign student so i mean it's, it's a wonderful experience wonderful experience so two modules were offered this was 65 okay trust pricing was 60 hours pit was 65 plus hours of live online classes 60 hours 5 weeks i mean this is always flexible 5 weeks so it was it was a 10 10 hours 10 weeks course and the structure of pit pit when you will go through the syllabus in the adit prospectus you will find that the syllabus of principles of international tax is 80% or rather 80% more than 80% it is based upon just a second it is based upon you see this oecd model tax convention on income and capital remember tax treaties so all the tax treaties the number of tax treaties in the world bilateral tax treaties at present the number of tax treaties in the world is close to 3500 close to 3500 tax treaties majority of those tax, tax treaties are based upon oecd model tax convention on income and capital and this is the latest version that is 2017 version so pit principle of international tax is the 80% 80% of the syllabus is based upon this model tax convention although there is another model tax convention that is united nations model tax convention between developing and developed nation but then that is also heavily based upon this oecd model tax convention fine so 80% of the syllabus of pit is based upon oecd model tax convention and during the live online classes i completed a thorough and threadbare analysis there are 30 articles thorough and threadbare analysis of each of those 30 articles you have articles and then you have commentary so thorough analysis of the articles as well as relevant portions in the commentary along with the case so oecd model tax convention so this becomes the fundamental document oecd model tax convention 2017 this was discussed in a threadbare manner in the class in fact oecd model tax convention you can even it's an open book examination you can take this oecd model tax convention in your examination hall as well in your examination you can use this whether you are setting the examination in your in your home but you can use this fine so we covered it extremely thoroughly then there are certain other areas introduction to international tax and then base erosion and profit shifting remember when i was discussing transfer pricing i told you i gave an example of uh, shifting of 30 dollars of profit so that was profit shifting which led to base erosion 
So the syllabus is 80% it's small tax convention, tax treaty is based upon small tax convention, then the issues of BEPS and then some other area. Fine. Task surprising coming to tax transparency and everything was completed in this 65, 66, 60, almost 67 hours. Fine. So principles of international tax. So we completed this and then out of the 65, 67 hours, the last 12 hours were dedicated solely for the threadbare analysis of the previous year question papers. So question papers were discussed, answer frameworks were given, analysis were done and discussion and all these were live. So students used to attend live and then they used to ask questions and so on and so forth. Fine. As far as task surprising is concerned, task surprising 90, 90 more than around 95 percent of the syllabus of task surprising is based upon is based upon this OECD Trans Surprising Guidelines OECD Trans Surprising Guidelines for Multinational Enterprises and Tax Administrations January 2022 version latest one and mind you you can check people are literally afraid of going through the Trans Surprising Guidelines why because they are very abstract but then yes I can say it very safely that International Tax Academy was probably definitely the first one in the country and probably even across the world which completed a TP course solely based upon OECD Transpising Guidelines 2022, reading of the guidelines, understanding of the concepts and then understanding and application of those concepts to the real life ADIT questions. Students, when they came to me, they were very afraid that, sir, it's very difficult for you, for us to read. But then, yes, when I explained them to them, by the end of this course, they were very, very familiar. Fine. So, this can be done. So, OECD, Transpising Guidelines 2022, this is the base document. And mind you, if you want to become a TP professional, you will have to read this OECD TP guidelines 2022 version. The versions are late was 2017 version. So versions keep on coming, but then you'll have to gain a mastery. Without this, you can only fool yourself. You can fool others, but then at the end, at the inside, you will know that you don't have a thorough understanding of trust pricing. Believe me, unless and until you gain a mastery over the OECD TP guidelines, you can never become, you can never become a TP professional. You might be able to crack the examination by some hook or crook. I, I don't know. There might be some other op options available. But if you haven't gone through, if you do not understand, if you do not have a clear understanding of OECD transpising guidelines, you can never become a thorough professional. You can only fool yourself. You can only fool people, others, and never sound. And this is the reason why there is so much of controversy in the area of TP. Because people don't read. Because it's very difficult to read, so they don't read, even sitting in high places. I don't want to name. Fine. But then yes, this is the base document of TP. Like it is the base document for principles of international tax. This is the base document for TP. So 10 chapters. Arms length principle, chapter number one. Arms length principle, TP methods, comparability analysis administrative approaches to TP dispute resolution, TP documentation, intangibles, intra-group services, cost contribution arrangements, business restructuring and financial transactions. All the 10 chapters were covered exhaustively in the class. Discussions, application, understanding of the concept and then the relevant paragraphs. Obviously, in the very first instance, don't read, I did not advise the students to go through each and every paragraph it will be very very difficult but then yes in the second or third reading they can definitely read fine and then the last 12 hours of these were dedicated to actual solution of questions question writing answer framework far analysis and so on and so forth so this was the module this this was the module and it was pretty successful i was very very happy the students were very happy and they found a substantial increase in the understanding of international tax, both PIT as well as TP. This was the offering of International Tax Academy. Okay, I think we're done. We're done. Uh, last, last few things. Remember, I told you in the first video that I would be justifying each and every, I had used multiple objectives, multiple adjectives that 
international tax is dynamic multidisciplinary it is intellectually stimulating and lots of career opportunities and I, and I, and i had said that i would be justifying each and every adjective so i believe i i have justified each and every objective multidisciplinary i have already shown transactional transactional intellectually stimulating intellectually stimulating because this area is continuously evolving why dynamic remember profit shifting and base erosion you know what i told you that in addition to the two branches that we have pit and tp there is also origin of third branch remember that third branch is base erosion and profit shifting 2.0 version for the last 4 years in fact this beps 1.0 started in 2013 and it completed in 2017 and since 2018 you have beps 2.0 and this web 2.0 is majorly dealing with addressing the tax challenges arising out of digitalization taxing of the tech giants tech companies fang facebook amazon apple netflix google plus microsoft addressing the tax challenges arising out of digitalization so taxing of the tech giants plus other issues the global minimum tax so pillar 1 pillar 2 so this area is continuously evolving that is why it is intellectually stimulating as well as dynamic all the adjectives justified <laughs> right so with this i would like to end this two part series i am really thankful to all of you for being so patient with me but i am very sure that i have kept my promise when i had said in the beginning of the first video that by the end of this series by the end of this video you would have become aware and adequately informed about this stream of area and remember adit is just an examination it is just an examination obviously you have an end end objective that you want to gain entry into the field of international tax you want to gain uh entry into big four in this area and remember if you gain an entry into big four na especially in the area of transfer pricing then trans practice of transfer pricing is more or more or less standardized at the global level more or less standardized there are certain country specific differences but then it's more or less standardized based upon oecd tp guidelines oecd tp i have dropped that practice of transfer pricing is more or less standardized at the global level based upon oecd tp guidelines so it's very easy for a person who enters for example one of the big fours in tp area in india and after some years he moves into tp he or she moves into tp area in the eu or in the uk or in so on and so forth so within big four you can move into tp in multiple countries get your point so this is the idea but then no shortcuts no shortcuts and so that is why i wanted to make this a video as a information series as well as you will definitely qualify adit this time although i did not give guarantee to my students but having taught them once international tax academies tp module tp coaching 100% guaranteed you will definitely qualify tp i'm so confident as far as pit is concerned 85% guarantee the main 15% because this syllabus is very 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 wide very 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 wide syllabus everything gets in, gets inputted and but then 80% guarantee here as well and 100% guarantee of passing qualification of tp fine but then ultimately more i mean the 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 best part is that qualification adit qualifying adit is one aspect ultimately what i want is that you should become sound international tax professionals who gain an understanding into the area of different nuances who gain an understanding into different nuances of international tax who are able to apply that that those those theoretical concepts onto the real life problems and uh, ultimately because this area is is it's it's evolving every every day new developments take place so you'll have to read i like to read so that is why you'll have to have to you'll have to you'll have to read and update yourself if you want to work in this area but then this that is the part of your work so if you want to stay at the top of your game so you'll have to read that is why i told you that it's intellectually stimulating fine so i hope this video is uh, uh does serve its purpose it makes you aware and uh, don't forget do, do share this video with all your friends all i've already mentioned all the branches commerce economics law even 
I mean, all the students who are doing the graduation and also who have completed CAs, as obviously CAs, share this video and uh, you can follow me on, uh, you can connect me, connect with me on LinkedIn, Manoj Nordia. You can follow the page International Tax Academy by Manoj Nordia on LinkedIn. Obviously, the videos will be uploaded on YouTube. So please follow the channel, subscribe to the channel International Tax Academy by Manoj Nordia. Share the video and I hope that uh, with you dynamic students coming into this field many of you would definitely decide to come into this area and uh, ultimately the level of the intellectual discourse in the field of international tax in india would be gradually elevated because compared to i've been in in the eu i've, I've been working here as well so there's a market difference in the level of uh, intellectual awareness intellectual discourse in the eu as well as the us compared to india so but when new blood fresh blood comes in so gradually the level of uh, awareness the level of knowledge will rise and then accordingly you'll see an enhancement in this field as well fine so with these words i would take your leave i would sign off and i wish you all the very best i wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors and uh, this is manoj nodial signing off so until next time keep learning namaskar thank you so much